Hey folks, happy Monday. Welcome to Advisory and welcome to another week here at WT White. Today in Advisory, I want to start off by talking about a very important subject and that subject is Beyonce. That's right, queen of the known universe, Beyonce. She recently came out with an album, you may have heard, that she debuted after a Super Bowl commercial. And folks immediately noticed that the music was a pretty big departure from the R&B or more dance-related music that she made before. Namely, the first song that she released, Texas Hold'em, included a claw hammer banjo, which is this right here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Beyonce had a banjo on her music. And I can't play it because Beyonce's record company would sue me into oblivion. You should definitely go listen to it yourself. It's a great song. But it starts off with something that kind of sounds like this. Obviously, Beyonce's version sounds much better, but you get the idea. It started off with a country sound specifically. And because of that, it debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot Country Songs. And she became the first female black artist to debut at number one on the charts with a country song. This caused some folks to feel certain feelings. Some folks questioned whether or not Beyonce, who has typically done more R&B leaning music, should even be counted as a country musician, or that song should be counted as a country song. And you can have a conversation about the music genre itself of country and whether or not these songs count as country, although they have all of the major hallmarks of country songs. There were some folks that were trying to say that, well, she's Beyonce, she shouldn't be making country music. Why doesn't Beyonce just stay in her lane? And the conversation around Beyonce's new singles and whether or not their country has shifted people's perspective and reminded folks of something that is a very important truth, which is that the origins of country music come from black folks. The banjo itself, which is normally seen as something that is reserved for like, hillbillies in the Appalachian Mountains in America has origins in Sub-Saharan Africa. And the original American banjo players were black. This conversation is exactly what I want to have today with the videos that I'm gonna show you. Today we're continuing our lessons about black history by looking at some more subtle or lesser known cultural contributions. The first area we're gonna look at is music and I'm gonna show you this video of the origin of the banjo and how black artists were kind of put to the side in favor of white artists, even though black artists were the ones who came up with the music and in many cases taught the music to white folks. And the other cultural contribution we're going to focus in on today is language. And let me tell you, fam, it's gonna be lit on God. No cap, I'm about to go off. You guys are going to be shook. And some of you may think it's extra. Honestly, it is going to slay and that is no cap. You're gonna learn some things, you're gonna be like, dang, Mr. Hall is a savage. Period. Now, if you're cringing in your seat because you're thinking, why is he saying this? And you may be cringing because it's usually words that teenagers use or words that are commonly used on the internet, but what people often forget or don't know in the first place is that all of those words and phrases that I just used originated from black communities. And that is what the second video you'll be watching today explains is how the internet language, the phrases that we know that are common today came to be and why it's so important to recognize the origin of that kind of language. So I hope you enjoy these next two videos on the next two slides. There'll be a short discussion afterwards, but I really just want you to think about what are the things about culture that you enjoy? The main takeaway is to understand the origins of the things that you enjoy or the things that you engage in, like music or language. It's important to understand the origins of the things that we enjoy about our culture today and attribute the credit for those things in its proper historical context. Enjoy these videos and this discussion. Have a great rest of your Monday and be good to yourself and others. I'll see you real soon.